Hi guys, I'm Pronobus, and I'll be showing you around a little bit of the incarnate battles today. So incarnate battles are where we can quickly generate random fights, whether you want to choose from the basic, which will give you one of 20 pre-made encounters, or 20 pre-made battles, poor train type, poor level, that's polling from based on the science you use, or they use the true random what I'm showing you. And the true random allows you to come in here and set difficulty levels. So let's say we have a party of four people, level five, we just type in the level at that point, because it's set for parties of four, and we roll, and we get a ton of dice there that comes out into a fight. And it is a level six. So we actually hit the 25% chance they'd give us a one level higher than what we're aiming for. Let's roll a few more, and you'll see that it balances out. Lots of dice there, and we see another level six, so they're having really bad rolls today, and two level fives. We all have those days when things just seem to be popping out of us that we don't really want. The software we're using is super nice. We have a one-click button that drops it all into the combat tracker there. And you can see it gives us a pretty good variety here. Sometimes you're going to have to come up with a law about why these creatures are together. Um, or you could just fight them all in a group. That depends on how talented your DM is. And in this particular case, we have some really interesting natural creatures, as well as with some sentient creatures. They have this gag all around them. And you could write a bunch of lore. Occasionally, you may even get a small subcrest or something interesting that's happening. So lower level, if it rolls you two lions and a horse, well, you could try and defend the horse, and maybe the horse would love you defending it, and you'll get a steed out of it. Or maybe it's something a bit more complicated, two griffins and a hippogriff. Well, griffins eat hippogriffs, and so that'd be a very interesting thing. I actually had a player get that, and the big goal is let's save the hippogriff and make friends that we have a flying steed, which is super awesome. It's a very versatile software. At this point, it can handle difficulties 1 8 up to 30 for all of the train types you see here, which includes a human type. Eventually, we're also going to add Dwarf, Elf, a bunch of other things like that. It's all on the way, it's being made, and it's been a blast. Thank you guys for coming out. If you're enjoying this, follow the channel, and also join us over on Discord. Several of the channels give you links to join the college, where there's a bunch of people that love to teach you this stuff and get you plugged in with this project. God bless you guys, and have a great day. Bye.